Hi, Narmeen. If you've been following developments regarding the NYPD over the last few years, you might be familiar with the term Cop Watch. It is both an organization and a philosophy that encourages people to record with their cell phones encounters with the police. While an NYPD officer had to turn in his badge for trying to stop one of those Cop Watch encounters, the cell phone did not do the job. But the electronic eyes behind me kept rolling. The NYPD routinely tells the public, if you see something, say something. But in this case, Officer Jonathan Munoz saw something, and according to surveillance video and prosecutors, said something else that was anything but the truth. First, let's show you what really happened. Officer Munoz approached a woman on the sidewalk in March of last year when her friend, Jason DeSisto, grabbed a cell phone and tried to record the encounter. Officer Munoz on the left and two of his partners can be seen grabbing DeSisto's arm and going for his phone. The officers eventually detained and cuffed the 21-year-old, put him in the back of a patrol car, and tossed the cell phone onto the street before pulling off. Now, let's move on to what Officer Munoz actually wrote in his report. It's clear he must not have known La Casa del Mofongo restaurant, where the stop and frisk encounter happened, has not one, but three surveillance cameras. Because Officer Munoz stated in his official report that DeSisto went on the offensive, lunged, and tried to punch him. DeSisto was even criminally charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. Without the video in this case, that police statement would have been the only thing that the district attorney would have been able to rely on. Daniel Sanchez of the Justice Committee says Officer Munoz's false account is not uncommon. We hear from the community all the time and we, we see these false arrests happening. And nine times out of ten, it's the officer's word against the community member. Um, for us, cop watching is what helps keep, keep community members safe. Officer Munoz, seen in this photo, sitting during a court appearance, faces criminal charges of making a punishable false written statement and official misconduct. Civil rights attorney David Rankin, who represents Jason DeSisto, tells PIX11, quote, We are heartened that the New York County District Attorney's Office chose to make an example out of Officer Munoz. The routine fabrications and misstatements by members of the NYPD has to stop, and we hope this indictment is a step in that direction. We've reached out to the NYPD for a response in this case so far we have not received one uh, officer Munoz is suspended without pay an internal affairs investigation continues presumably involving the actions of those other officers seen in the video